Hello there. Dublin sees a solution in the dispute between London and Brussels over the Brexit status of the region of Northern Ireland. The Irish Foreign Minister Simon Coveney told journalists in Dublin on Tuesday that the British government was seriously interested in resolving outstanding issues with the EU in the coming weeks or months. And I think the EU will respond generously to that. That's what Coveney said. The dispute revolves around the question of how border checks can be prevented despite Brexit between EU member Ireland and the rest of the Emerald Isle, which still belongs to the United Kingdom, legally. The previous solution via the so-called Northern Ireland Protocol has been rejected by the most important Northern Irish um, Loyalist Party, the DUP. For months, the dispute has prevented the formation of a government, although this denial is just a smokescreen. But that's why the central government in London has already announced that it wants to call a new election. However, there is no date yet. While Brussels insists on compliance with the protocol, London is threatening to unilaterally withdraw from it. Coveney made it clear that the issue must finally be resolved, but within the framework of international treaties. The EU stands ready to show significant flexibility and to take regional concerns into account, particularly in Northern Ireland, the minister said. I think that's doable by the end of the year, he said, but it must be within the protocol. London apparently realizes that an election will currently make no sense. That's how Coveney commented on the still unclear date for the new election. According to experts, no different result is to be expected than in May's election, when the Republican Party Sinn Féin, which aims to unify the two parts of Ireland, received the most votes for the first time. Coveney called on both sides to get away from maximum demands. First, trust must be renewed and political institutions reinstated, and this requires compromises. To be honest, I have sincere doubts about that much optimism with this UK government. Sorry, Mr. Coveney. Almost two years after Brexit, there is still this dispute over the border of Northern Ireland. First Johnson, then Truss, opted for a confrontation with Brussels. The European Commission has been looking at Northern Ireland from Brussels for a few weeks with a certain amount of tension. Because the question is still how the border to the neighboring country, the Republic of Ireland, can be kept open there despite Brexit. Above all, so that it remains peaceful there. The stakes are no less than the so-called Good Friday Agreement, which ended the decades-long and bloody conflict in Northern Ireland almost 25 years ago. But then came Brexit, and the open border between the two parts of the Irish island threatened to become history. Because Northern Ireland legally at the moment belongs to the United Kingdom, while the Republic of Ireland is part of the European Union. And in order to protect the common EU internal market from illegal imports or social dumping or uncontrolled imports from third countries, there have to be border checks there again since Brexit. But they do not exist. The EU insisted on this during the years of Brexit negotiations. With success, because the treaty agreed between London and Brussels on Britain's exit from the EU provides four open borders on the Irish islands with the Northern Ireland Protocol. And goods checks that the United Kingdom carries out itself for products that are transported from Great Britain to Northern Ireland. If you like, British authorities check their own internal goods traffic so that nothing gets into the EU illegally. For many Britons, the thought alone is hard to bear, and that is why there is a dispute between Brussels and London. Prime Minister Boris Johnson wanted the Northern Ireland Protocol gone, as did his predecessor um, Liz Truss. Meanwhile, the two are no longer out in office and out of office, but, but the dispute is still there. And what the still new head of government, Rishi Sunak, has in mind with regard to Northern Ireland and the protocol, well, he has been largely silent about it, but he talked to the ERG as far as I know. But what the EU want is clear, and nothing has changed about that. They want to stick to the Northern Ireland Protocol and this international agreement, and exactly as was decided together, 
Renegotiating the protocol is unrealistic, said Maro Sevcovic, Vice President of the European Commission responsible for the relations with the United Kingdom, at every opportunity. We have not found any other viable solution to bring this long negotiated and sensitive agreement into a new balance. Any new attempt to change that would bring uncertainty to all the people of Northern Ireland. That is what Sevcovic said. And so far, the goods checks seem to be working to a large extent. Bernd Lange, a Social Democratic member of the European Parliament from Germany and as chairman of the Trade Committee, was recently in Northern Ireland himself to get an idea of the practical implementation of the agreement. For him, the situation is clear. Only very few people in the British part of the Irish island want to shake the record. However, they want things to be less complicated in everyday life, he says. And there, says Bernd Lange, there's at least a certain amount of leeway from a European perspective. How much bureaucratic effort is necessary? Do goods that remain in Northern Ireland really have to be checked? Can exceptions be made for certain British products? That can be worked out. And because the EU already made offers for about 80% of this. But there's, however, one major obstacle, the Northern Ireland Democratic Unionist Party. They are insisting on an end to the Northern Ireland Protocol and they are trying to put pressure on the new British government to make that happen. But on the other hand, there is Sinn Féin in Northern Ireland, which wants back into the EU and a union with the Irish Republic. There has been repeated talk of new elections in Northern Ireland in recent weeks because there has been no stable ma majority for government in Belfast since the vote in May. But as I said earlier, the date has not been set yet and London would have to do that. But there are fears that new election could further aggravate the tense political situation in Northern Ireland. What that ultimately means for the EU is completely unclear. It's likely that things will continue as before. There is the Northern Ireland Protocol and of course there's the dispute over it but no solution. Anna Cavazzini, a Green MEP who is responsible for the EU's post-Brexit relations with Great Britain, she's from Italy, is at least cautiously optimistic about the Sunak government in London. First of all, Great Britain is in a very bad economic situation right now and Sunak has promised to clean up and show pragmatism, which includes not starting a trade war with its biggest neighbor. So no quarreling about the Northern Ireland Protocol. And secondly, London's tone towards Brussels is far less aggressive than it was under Liz Truss. Apparently, it is the atmospheric things in particular that are important with the Northern Ireland Protocol. And there, at least something could really have improved. But some sincerity in London would be welcome, but I personally doubt that especially the ERG and the other right-wingers will let Sunak do something pragmatic. So at this point I have to counter the Italian MEP as well, as well as the German one and, and uh, the Irish Foreign Minister. I am not that optimistic, because in the background of the Tory party everything stayed the same, only the face on the outside changed. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.